Hello, and welcome to another episode of Epic Guns. Today, we're going to do something different. We're going with 9mm compacts for those of you with CCWs. These are compact, too. We have six of the example of the breed. Right here, we have this beautiful little SIG P365, a tiny little thing, which, frankly, I'm liking a whole lot. I think this may win overall. <laughs> here we have the Springfield EMP, which is shrunk down little 9mm, which is shrunk down to the dimensions of the cartridge itself, and a Ruger LC9. Okay, this one here, Glock 43X. One of my favorites, Ooh. the SIG P239, and pushing the boundaries, but this is the gun that I use as a concealed gun, and that's the Glock 19. Okay, well, we have six of the best 9mm compact handguns made. Well, at, at least that we can smuggle into California. We can get into California. <laughs> um, which one are you choosing as your favorite so far? We haven't fired around yet. Uh, I'm always going to go with the Glock 19. Well, it's got the largest, it's got the longest sight radius. Keep in mind, too, folks, this gun is literally right off of the shelf at my shop. Okay, this gun has zero rounds through it, so this should be fun. Well, you should be able to buy a firearm in the 2020. You should be able to buy a firearm, take it out to the range, give it a cleaning, and then go straight to work with it. Right? True enough. Um, boy, because of the trigger, I'm going to like the EMP, perhaps, or just, God, just for showroom appeal. That's a 9mm pistol? Seriously? Yeah, that's a 9mm. God, I got St. Christopher medals. SIG 365. That. We'll see how she goes. We'll see how it goes. <sighs> okay, first one up. The Glock 19, this is my pick, this is my favorite. Mine's been altered a wee bit, so we'll see how this one is. Again, this one's brand new off of the shelf. Okay. All right, here we have the Glock 19. This is an industry standard pistol for carrying for defense. Um, I do not care for the Glock acute grip angle, but it has a broader back strap, a longer sight radius, and legendary reliability, which is why Jeff makes it his carry gun. Let's see how it goes for me. Not well. This is the Springfield EMP. What Springfield has done with this is they have taken the overall dimensions of the gun, the 1911 platform, and they've shrunken it down to suit the 9mm cartridge. I think it's a great idea. I really like this little gun. I really like the 9mm platform. Let's see how this does. Springfield EMP, single action trigger on a 1911 platform. Let's see how we go. I like it. Okay, the Springfield EMP. Now keep in mind, folks, I used to have one of these on my concealed weapons permit, and somebody explained to me, if you ever have to use this in the shooting, you're likely to lose the gun. This guy's a little tasty in price. Yay! Okay, next up is a SIG P365. This is a Gen 1. Uh, I managed to procure this from a friend of mine who's a police officer. See how she goes. Okay, while this is my gun, keep in mind, I've never shot it well, so let's see how we do. Yeah, five out of six, I'll take it. SIG P365. Now, being a Californian, this is unobtainium, and I'm really impressed with the little packet of goodies. It's got a nice, it's got tritium sights, nice green dot on the front sight. Little tiny package. I can't believe you stuffed a nine millimeter into this thing. Never handled one before. Let's see how it shoots. I want one. <laughs> Here we have a SIG P239, like the Glock 19, pushing the uh, envelope of what is actually concealable. But um, it's a small but heavy handgun. It's very dense. Listen, this is one of the world's great handguns. Double action, first shot, got a sweet sweep down decocker. Um, great sights and enough of a platform to hold on to. This should be a pretty good shooter for us. Uh, 
it's a little bit on the larger side. It's still compact enough to carry. I carried one of these for years, but the weight is definitely an issue. Uh, don't wear baggy pants or you won't be having any pants at all. Okay, next up is the Glock 43X. Again, as we discussed, this is not California legal, but I managed to finagle one. I really like this gun. Yeah, five out of six, not too bad. The Glock 43X. Now, I've handled one of these things, but I've never shot it because I'm a native Californian and they don't allow evil firearms like this in the state but i gotta tell you i like it single stack much more trim grip Let's see how that glock grip angle does me Here is a Ruger LC9. Now, Ruger makes this in a bewildering array of additions and models. This is the striker-fired one as opposed to the hammer-fired one. It is very small, it's very slender, it's very light, and has a really short sight radius. Let's see how this thing goes. Five out of six, I think I will take that. I've had an experience with these. I used to own one of these. Wasn't a big fan. See how it goes. Oh yeah, I can see why you hate that one. <laughs> Worked better than the one I had. This is a Glock 19 at 15 feet, uh, triple taps. Kind of for grouping. Okay, so this is a Glock uh, 19, like I said, at 15 feet. Uh, not the tightest groups, but again, we're shooting rapid fire. Okay, next up is the EMP again at 15 feet rapid fire for group. Okay, so the first three, not a great group, but still on target. Second three, made up for a little bit here, less than an inch there, and one fire. Uh, kind of think this is more of the shooter than it was the gun. Okay, the SIG 365, 15 feet, uh, rapid fire, four group. Okay, so that you're my first three. Again, all on target. Not the greatest group, but when I spun, uh, I don't know, maybe I got my grip a little better. So I got two right there and right there. I seem to do better on the back three than the front. Okay, the SIG 239, once again, 15 feet, uh, triple tap uh, for grouping. Okay, my first three shots, uh, not bad. This gun does tend to want to shoot a little bit low. And then my second, got one there and two almost touching. So far, this is the best group for me. Okay, the Glock 43X, my dark horse. This is one of my faves. Okay, so the 43X, my first three shots here, second three shots here. Uh, a little disappointed I didn't do better. Okay, last one. This is the Ruger, oh, what the heck is it? LC9, nine, nine millimeter, again at 15 feet, uh, rapid fire for group. Okay, so like I was saying before, even though I hit the first, the standing still taking my times, this is what I got here. I got one here, I got one here, and then I got one, you tell me. Over on this one, I got one here, I got one here, and again, I don't know where the third one went. Uh, it's a long double action trigger pull, and it tended to pull me down and probably right off the target. Glock 19, combat distance, 15 feet. Glock 19, 
Larger back strap, easier to get shots off in rapid order. Nice sight radius. That'll do. Sorry, that one got up a little bit, but that will definitely do. Those will both stop a determined opponent. Springfield EMP. Two assailants, 15 feet. Wyatt Earp once observed that fast is fine and accurate is final. I certainly got my first shot off okay. Then the group started opening up. I expected better from a single action trick over right here. Dinky little SIG P365, it's smaller than my hand. I liked the street appeal of this thing when we started. I'm really liking how it shoots. On the diamond. Over here I get a little rich with my finger and starting to move to the right. This is a good shooting little pistol though. SIG P239. This is getting up into service pistol size. Should be fairly easy to shoot. Jeff shot the best group of the day with this thing. Let's see if I can keep up. I think I overpressured the trigger finger a little bit again. These are all palm sized groups at a combat distance and <laughs> Like Jeff discovered, darn it, that is a good shooting pistol. Those sick nice. people seem to know their business. Glock 43X. Glock finally got around to making this nice slender single stack profile. Again, good sight radius, nice handy, easy to use pistol. For those of you who are not from the great state of California, this is a bit of exotica for us because we're not allowed to touch such things. But Jeff, Jeff is special. I'm not doing this anymore. Now I'm doing this. The Glock trigger, it's a little bit like a dart gun, and that uh, is a newish pistol, and I've never been all that good with Glocks. Witness my earlier performance on the tree. But anyway, again, these are all in the chest area. These are reasonably good groups, especially for a compact pistol. Ruger LC9S Striker fired. This is their little tiny pocket 9mm. Again, little tiny pistol like the SIG. i got to be honest, the trigger is not that attractive, nor are the sights. But a dependable little shooter. I had a tough time finding the front sight, as did Jeff, and the trigger is a little bit wonky. In spite of that, the gun appears to work, or we are warming to the task. I'm called a home, or it's his gun. <laughs> okay, so like we did last time, we're going to try this with a shooting tree. Is that what this thing's called? That's with a dueling tree. Dueling tree, okay. And we're we're going to do it with these little tiny... I want to make earrings out of this one, I swear to God. Yeah, so I went with a Glock 43X. Mark's going to go with the P365. I wanted to do the 19, and he wanted to do the... <laughs> the EMP. But, but we decided, no, These are we're supposed gonna, to be concealable. It's compact day. We're going with compacts. Yeah. <laughs> I shot my own target. <laughs> oh well. Well, again, we have proved conclusively that we shooting are not real good with this shooting tree. <laughs> <laughs> okay, a final synopsis of the six guns that we reviewed today. Six of the nicest nine millimeter compacts available in California. In California. <laughs> well, except for two. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Okay, so the, the Glock 19, I mean, like I said, I carry this thing seven days a week. Shot it well. Shot it well. Uh, what do you think? Um, longer sight radius, broader back strap. It attenuates the recoil really nice. It should be easy to shoot well, but I have never really been comfortable with the Glock trigger, and that damn grip angle gets me every time. See, I, I absolutely love it. Uh, I didn't shoot that great with this one, but I'm a little bit more used to mine, which has had a couple of things done to it. The Glock 43X. That is such a nice pistol, and I wanted to like it more than it shot for me. Slender profile, but still the grip angle, and still the, the dubious clock trigger for me. Loved it. <laughs> Next, <laughs> the EMP. Okay, um, I like what you said about if you're going to use this for a carry gun, yeah. recognize it. If you have to use it, you may lose it. Very that true. said, it's like a piece of fine art. It's like a piece of jewelry. I am going to buy one of these things. Do I need to say more? Uh, may have one for sale soon. <laughs> <laughs> Clock 239. Um, boy, I did not do well shooting the precision with it, but because of the extra sight radius and the extra weight and the broad grip, uh, we both shot extremely well on the on the snapshot. Yeah, I've got a lot of experience with this gun. This one's actually mine, and it, it shot quite well for me. Uh, uh, the only drawback again is it, it's it's weight. It's pretty heavy, and then you put ammo in it, and it gets like oh my goodness, the Ruger. <sighs> the Ruger, as you mentioned, it is in fact my pistol. Um, I shot it 
quite well. Yeah, um, I've got some. I've got some trigger time on the thing. And one of the things I need to make a point is you got to be a pretty darn good shooter, as is Jeff, for example. Six different kinds of triggers, six different operating mechanisms, six different fields, and we're knocking these things out, bang, 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 trying to get used to them. Mm. This thing I did shoot rather well. Um, I don't like it a lot. For starters, it's got the, the freaking California mandated magazine um, safety. Yeah. And if you take a magazine out, what you have here is a paperweight. I really don't care for it. I'm sorry. It's a good gun, but. Yeah, I don't even think they're making this model anymore. Uh, the trigger pull is just brutal. And, and you know, for, for me, I kept going down with it. So I, I'd have to say, eh, not so much. Finally, the SIG 365. That's my winner. I swear to God, I know we can't get these in California, so I'll be leaning on you or whatever your connections are. As the tractor runs behind me, because that's how I was born, that's how I was raised, and that's how I shall die. Yeah, absolutely. That uh, said, that's my winner. Uh, again, uh, this is on my CCW, so I, I like it a lot. It, it's not the Glock, but you know, if I'm going somewhere, the Glock does tend to stick out sometimes, and, and you can't always... It, expect people to think it's your cell phone so this guy it's, does fit in your back pocket quite it's so well. tiny and it's it shot well shoots really well so would you pick a winner if i had to pick a winner for me the winner is the sig i want one yeah and again i'm going with the 19 and uh, a close second would be the 43x and that concludes another episode of Epic Guns, All where right. we compared six nine millimeter subcompact pistols. You bet. I am Jeff, owner of Gunslinger Gun Shop and Gunslinger Auction. I am Mark the Professor. Don't forget, we have a radio show on KABC 790 AM Los Angeles every Sunday morning from 7 to 8, where you can tune in, listen in, you can even call in. Called the Gunslinger Hour. Stay tuned for another episode soon of... Epic, Epic Guns! guns.